What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today we're gonna do a couple of things. First we're gonna talk about Asgard the Vite. And we're gonna do that while opening shards. So the reason for that is I am still running a couple of tests. Uh, basically, try to find out on a mid to high level account and lower accounts how far you can progress and what you need to be able to clear. Now, I know there's a lot of guys in front of me doing those videos, but for the most part, they have really OP champions. Uh, I'm trying to do in a way where me and you can actually beat this guy, okay? Not just, you know, wells and krakens, etc. All right, so what's the biggest, while we open the shards, we're gonna talk. All right, sorry, I had the wrong account. So. This one is actually my free-to-play account that I used on the Hell Hates competition and I'm gonna be opening there. But anyway, so the main issue I found on Asgard Bud, right? The new dungeon, uh, and it has to do with every time you step into a higher bracket, the dungeon becomes extremely more difficult. Uh, in the beginning, you can pre pretty much just use damage dealers and you have no problem clearing. But later on, you will need to block buffs. So, one of my accounts at some point, uh, at a certain point of this dungeon, I actually had to use block debuffs and a debuff extender. Well, so it was horrible. Uh, I can probably tweak a little bit. I'm not using any major champion, I'm just like grabbing champions and throwing them there. Not doing any RNG or anything. And hello, Plarium. Give you nothing. That's fine. Let's go to the other account. All right. So probably with RNG on my main account, that's actually the account. I should be able to clear a lot higher, maybe uh, clear all the way up. But it's a little complicated. And I'm going to show you guys uh, after this opening. But it is, I'll be honest, it is a good dungeon. Um, a lot of the prizes are not the greatest unless you get um, the Asgardian gear. I forgot the name, I'm gonna check. It's a little bit, you know, you, you get the stuff you get from uh, the Ice Gold. Uh, maybe from the other ones as well, but at least what I noticed was Ice Gold and rewards. Um, but it's not that great. All right, let's go, 10 more. So. And also, just so you guys know, I would say to save those shards if you guys are planning to go for, uh, not fusion, uh, but for the, fra well, the fragment fusion. And it's basically because you will need that for champion chase. The only reason why I don't care about using um, my ancient shards right now is because I have on queue. Damn it! I have on queue uh, Lady Mikaj, so should get me a lot of points, and I do have other shards I can open. Also, I should be able to get a couple of Ancients until then, so it's not much of a problem. But, as I mentioned to you guys, this account actually has become kind of free to play. I know it didn't start as one, uh, so anything I have should be pretty much able to get everything I need. Okay. Um, champion chase, short opening, whatever. So anyway, let's take a quick look at the dungeon. Okay, so the event dungeon. So it's nine weeks ago, right? Uh, I cleared to stage 21 without actually doing any RNG. I just threw champions. If you guys see, like, actually the time difference, right? At stage 14, I was using... I was going 42 seconds, just throwing champions in there. Stage 17, 2 minutes and 38, and stage 18, 9 minutes and 43. So stage 16, for example, right, it should be a lot less because I changed. One of the changes I did was uh, I took my damage dealers out, and I actually threw pretty much just debuffs. So like for example, if we go in here, As you guys can see, I have four other champions to fight against, not just Odin. And I'm pretty much, I threw a block debuffs, 
threw a cup of poisons, so now he can't actually get block damage on. I do have the uh, extend debuffs, so I'm gonna try as much as I can to just keep that debuff up. In a moment it's about to drop, I have another debuffer <laughs> right there. So, and also I have Neri that if she actually hits well, she can remove uh, his buffs. So this alone should be fine. Yes, it takes longer, but at the same time, I didn't do any special equipment. And I know a lot of people think, well, yeah, but even with that, uh, a lot of people are able to clear a lot faster. True, but I'm gonna show you guys the stats of those champions. Like those champions, I don't have anything special on them, no god gear, it's just stuff I threw in. So let's take a look as soon as this fight is done. All right, guys, so I, as you see, I just kept the debuffs on this guy. The problem is, the moment you jump into stage 21 and all, yes, five and six, right? Uh, the one I fought was actually four to six. I just want to have an idea, a better idea on time. But stage 21, the time starts going up because they get a lot harder. So it was harder for me to hit and keep the block debuffs, uh, block buffs. So it may start having to take a bit of RNG in the most because it goes all the way to level 30. But the other thing I was mentioning is the artifact drop. So critical rate, not bad if you're in early game. Accuracy, same thing. Curing, I swear I never used. I know a lot of people may say it's great. I really don't think so. Uh, days, not really that much used. And crit damage, very early game. And then you have pinpoint. Now pinpoint, sure, that's great. It's the new, uh, it's a new gear set. It looks amazing. But besides for that, it, it's there's not much. So if you don't get pinpoint, a lot of it depends on where you are in the game. Um, you shouldn't really care about. So anywho, let's take a quick look um, at those champions I'm using. Right. So the champions I'm using here. Uh, Sun Wukong, not that much. Uh, <laughs> I threw Lifesteal gear basically because uh, I needed him uh, on Faction Wars. So, a little bit of speed, but as you guys see, total stats, it's not that great. I mean, I have 37,000 XP, 5,000 attack, 1,500. Uh, defense speeds is 246 that's probably the only good thing I have everything else very average no god gear nothing that actually you know it's impressive you, you can get impressed with uh, let's see who else do I have all right so I have pyro great champion uh, he helps me a lot to actually not get hit by stun at times at least not all my champions some of them have the resistance higher so and they're actually they can remove debuffs so this helps as well uh, for sure I have Elva Altenborn uh, that's probably the one that is slightly bad best equipped right so I have six of protection but even so, nothing is too crazy. The one good thing, uh, what is really helping here is she is getting a few of the protected buffs. So in this case, if I get the block debuffs and they're protected, that helps me a lot. Um, so yeah, a lot of them don't have all the masteries. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be working on today, and I'll try to get a video tomorrow, talking more, a little bit of RNG. And I'm going to use three of my accounts. I'm going to use my brand new account, I'm going to use my competition account, what is six, uh, level 62, and I'm going to use this account. It's still level 88, it's not really a high-end account, but it's a low spender, so it's a more realistic account, where most people have. Uh, I know Kraken's Wells, you're like, well, I already finished everything, got the best gear. Sure, dude, go ahead, but you also could have bought like 10 cars. 
Anywho, guys, uh, I just want to give you guys an update where I am right now. Uh, let you guys know what I'm going to be doing for tomorrow. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good end of your day. And, as always, I'll see you in the game.